and the Q. It's a little crazy. It's something that may, um, I've been tweaking with it. So I may need to figure out what, I tried to figure out what time of the day is best. It says nine uh, from the data. It says nine to like um, 3 p.m. But it got a little choppy this morning and was red like $1,000. I'm just testing it. Also, this is the ES Quick Renko. I actually really, really like this. I call it Quick because it's on a lower brick size, but it actually works really well for ES. It's only taken one trade so far today, and that was uh, worth $500. Also, you can see this trade from Friday got long at 41.40, out at 40. That is 40 points with one contract. A contract is worth $50. So that's $2,000 for one mini here. And then this one, 46, um, that would be 300. So, so you'd have made $2,300 on this one trade. This one was a losing trade, but that was a winning trade. So it only takes like two or three trades a day. Um, on this day it actually took, oh, I think that was when it was 9 to 11 a.m. Now I have it until 2 p.m., so it takes a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see the strategy performance for the past few days. So 5,300. Since 421, which was what, Wednesday? So this is just Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the one trade this morning. 79% win rate, up 5,300. Max drawdown of $750. So that was one loss because each loss per contract is 375, and I'm taking two contracts. Um. What else? So yeah, so this looks really good. Oh, I wanted to see how many trades per day. So it takes uh, about six trades a day. So that is good to know. So this NQ is in another trade. Now it's taking a short. See, the thing about this is I feel like I would look at the overall trend and say, oh, the overall trend is moving higher, so I'm gonna turn shorts off. And I could do that by just pushing a button and, and turning off shorts for the day. But this is catching like a really quick turnaround. And my first TP is three points, which is pretty doable for NQ. And then your break even comes into play. So you don't need a lot for it to actually like go in your favor. Um, yeah, so, all right, we'll check back in a minute. All right, now you can see we are up a little bit here, up $160 on this quick NQ. Nothing else is active right now. It just took a few green trades. Again, this is in simulation. I'm just testing it out and kind of liking it. Just trying to find the best times of the day to run it because at the open, it's really kind of neurotic and all over the place. So now it's taking a short. The overall trend is, is up, but you never know what it wants to do. And my allergies are really bad today. <laughs> allergies suck. And I'm going to put this up. Uh, I'm going to upload it that would be good I'm really excited about this ES one Already locked up 500 here. It's like 485. 
All right, so this end cue is taken out, and now it's long again. It just does this all day long. Long, short, long, short, long, short. <laughs> it's entertaining for sure. If you have to sit at your desk all day, this would be something that I would probably be watching, but. But it needs to give consistent large profits, and that's what I'm looking to see because in the strategy analyzer, it shows that it will make like on average 2,000 a day. Some days are like 5,000, some days are 7,000. Um, but 2,000 a day, I would be happy with that and I'd be willing to pay the fees and commissions because when you're taking this many trades, you're going to have a lot of fees um, and commissions. So you have to just be ready for that and be like, okay, well, how many trades? Is it taking per day or per week? And then figure out if it's worth it from there. So we can see this is moving up now. The trailing stop is moving. I feel like on this screen it's not showing the trailing stop, but as you can see right here, this purple. You guys can see that, right? That's so f oh yeah, oh yeah, I see it right here. The line is kind of hidden on the picture for some reason. So this trade already locked up that first $60, and now it's up another $125. Also on this ES one, I wasn't home, but I heard the second contract went up to like $500 or something. $84, $74, dollars uh, So that was another $250. That's what it was. And it closed out at like $200. Oh, that's fine. Not a big deal.